Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Game Feed. My name, of course, is Derek. You can call me Panzo6. And right now, we're going to talk about PlayStation's E3 conference because, damn. I mean, literally, fucking damn. It's crazy. Um, Sony came out immediately, and they said, you know what? We're going to show you all the games. You want video games? We have video games. And we're going to show you all the games. And that's exactly what they did. They delivered big time. Uh, opening up immediately with God of War. Uh, supposedly it's a reboot, but it's also a sort of sequel that takes place in Norse mythology. Uh, where you face off the, <laughs> the Norse gods. And oh my god! It looked good. So good. And... Kratos is one tough dad. I mean, it starts out, you're seeing his kid picking up a knife, and that big bearded Kratos is like, I'm going to teach you to hunt. Um, you, he's going to hunt his deer, and, you know, he's telling him, you got to do this, you got to be better. And I would hate for him to be my dad. He's brutal. Uh, we got to see the gameplay, uh, him killing off some... Uh, some of the animals. Now, it looked really different. Um, you know, Gears of War is usually this fast, um, in your face, uh, jumping up in the air, doing these crazy moves um, with your blades, your chain blades. I've, I've got their blades of Olympus, I believe. Um, but it seemed more refined, more like a third person um, shooter perspective. Um, you know, he got to kill his thing with an axe, uh, then he fought this boss thing, um, and I, I don't know if the kid, um, is gonna be, like, he's gonna protect this kid the whole game, or pass him down, it's gonna be his legacy, uh, that kid's gonna take over for Kratos or something, I'm not really sure, but it actually re looked really, really good. They didn't say it was God of War 4, it's just called God of War. Uh, the graphics looked great, um. Uh, kind of looks like it might be an open world game, um, but yeah, that definitely, definitely, definitely was crazy. Um, you know, when it had that backing, um, <laughs> this orchestra, because the whole the whole time during this conference, you have this orchestra playing all these songs from the games that's being shown on screen. Um, now, I applaud. I really applaud. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Sony's conference because right away uh, they, you know, said some awesome things um, about, you know, uniting together, uh, fighting against the hate, and, you know, saying, you know, how sorry and how awful it is for the Orlando shooting, which, again, that was awesome. Um, you know, I haven't seen that from any other conference, but, you know, they took their time off of that just to say, I think it was Sean Layden, um, you know, we immediately started out, you know, talked about that, and, um, yeah, it's definitely awesome for that. Um, we got to see The Last Guardian coming out this October. <sighs> Man, that game is going to break our hearts. It's just going to tear our hearts out. You know that dog's going to die. We've been waiting for this game for years, and it's going to break every single one of our hearts. Um, not really much gameplay. We just got to see a trailer as well as a release date. Uh, they're showing off this new game. It's called, let's see, what was it called? Days Gone, um, which is a zombie uh, shooter. It's like, I thought it was going to be like The Last of Us 2 or something. Um, but showing off this game, um, you're a biker, which they showed the gameplay at the very end, but they started out with the trailer, which uh, you're a biker, and he's talking about all the things that happened and how all the things he used to do and now what he does in this broken, destroyed world. Uh, the gameplay, um, very reminiscent of The Last of Us. Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was Last of Us 2 or take it somehow takes place in the same world as The Last of Us, but when we got to see the zombies you know, all that went goodbye because these zombies were not the same fungal zombie things that you got to see in The Last of Us. These things was kind of like um, the World War Z uh, movie zombies. There's like coming at you, like there's so many zombies running at you on the screen just that they're destroying everything. Um, it looked really, really good. Um, but I'm a sucker for zombies. I love zombie games. And, you know, Microsoft has State of Decay and Dead Rising. And PlayStation, they have uh, 
Days Gone, and you know I'm excited for that. Uh, we got to see the Resident Evil 7 trailer, um, which was really weird. It's all in VR. I don't know if the game is only VR, but it was a first-person perspective. We didn't really see the enemies or anything like that. We got to see a little bit of gameplay. Uh, now they just say that there was gameplay on VR available for people to check out, and from what I read on Twitter, there's a lot of people that really, really enjoyed it. And they said it was actually kind of scary, but I do not know what it's about. don't know if there's zombies. I don't know. I kind of hope they are zombies, because I don't think it would be Resident Evil without the zombies. Uh, see, we got to see Detroit become human, uh, one of Quantic Cream's latest games. I, I'm not a big fan of uh, any of those games, uh, Fahrenheit um, or uh, <clears throat> Hard Rain. Uh, I just couldn't get into those games, and this one doesn't look any different than those. Uh, but you're an android, and you can actually... Uh, you're like an android cop detective, um, and you make your story. It's like a um, everything you do um, can change the outcome of you know events that happen in the game. Um, one of the things they shown was there's this other android holding this little girl on the rooftop, and it shows all these different things that can happen. Uh, depending on your choices, which, you know, that's cool. Um, you know, not for me. I don't like, I didn't care for qu any of Quantic, uh, Quantum Dreams or Quantic Dreams games. Um, you know, I'm not a really big fan of the uh, <laughs> head over that uh, studio. I do not like him. So, sorry if that offends anybody. I just don't care for him. Um, then they showed off Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Uh, the game looks good. Um, it's showing off the single player, none of the multiplayer. Um, you know, it's Call of Duty. It, every year they come out with a new one. I mainly play Call of Duty just for the single player campaign. And, of course, I'm going to end up buying this. I'll have to buy the $80 edition so I can get the uh, Call of Duty for a remaster. Um, it's showing off the space flight combat, uh, spaceships in space, doing crazy things, using grappling hooks, uh, doing breaches into spaceships, destroy, like sucking things out, uh, sucking the people out into the, the vast of space. Um, uh, you know, it looks good. You know, it's Call of Duty. What else can I say about it? Uh, they then showed a trailer for the remastered version of 4, which that's what I'm really excited about. Um, but again... Call of Duty is Call of Duty, and Call of Duty is Call of Duty. That makes sense. That's a popular thing, but, you know. Uh, we then got to see some VR games. There was a bunch of different things they shown off. Batman Arkham VR, Farpoint, which is this weird... Um, uh, from what I can tell, it's a first-person shooter, and you're exploring, you know, uh, undiscovered planets, and it didn't really give too much on it. Um, we got to see the Star Wars Battlefront X-Wing Fighter VR mission uh, as well as a few other games. Um, VR was they didn't talk a lot about VR. They did say it's coming out uh, this holiday season. Price starting at $399, which I think that's a really good price for a VR headset. Um, so if you're not on, if you don't have a PC and you want to experience VR and you have a PlayStation 4, and you don't want to wait for the PlayStation 4.5 or 4K to come out. Um, I think that would be um, it's a good price. But personally, I'm going to wait to purchase another PS4 um, once the 4K comes out. And most likely it's going to be bundled with that. Now one of the biggest surprises, which is really, really damn cool. Um, it's not the biggest surprise, but it's a pretty good, pretty good surprise. Um... Crash Bandicoot Remastered. They're doing the first three games. Remastered from the ground up. New engine, new everything. Working with Activision to release this on the PlayStation 4. Um, that was awesome. That was probably one of the coolest things. Uh, Sean Layton's like walking across the stage and you see Crash Bandicoot's shadow. And, you know, at the, the whole audience was just like astounded by that because that was awesome. I, I have to say, that's probably one of the coolest moments of uh, that uh, specific um, <laughs> conference. But um, then we got to see LEGO Star Wars Episode 7. Um, that was cool. 
we got to see the Final Fantasy 15 VR trailer. No Final Fantasy 7 this time. We didn't just see that. Um, you know, there's a there's a lot of things that I was kind of hoping we got to see. Got to see a big gameplay trailer for Horizon Zero Dawn, which looks insanely good. Um, again, um, Guerrilla Studios had me last year at hunting giant robot dinosaurs with a crazy bow in an open world setting. Again, more of that. And I believe it comes out this February? And Resident Evil comes out in January, by the way. So if you're ready to play Resident Evil 7, that's not too far off. But I imagine, I imagine, I bet you anything that game gets pushed back. Um, Insomniac came out with a trailer for the Spider-Man game that they're actually working with. It's coming exclusively. I think it's going to be exclusive to PlayStation 4, but said, you know, hashtag Spider-Man PS4. It looked really good. Um, I think they took a lot of their ideas they did with uh, Sunset Overdrive, transferred them over to Spider-Man. And, and, and Spider-Man has got a good pedig pedigree, and I think they're perfect for a Spider-Man. Now, I thought it was going to be the guys who worked on Infamous, but it's kind of, I was kind of confused by that. I, I thought that would have been a good studio for it. Um, <laughs> one of the last big things that came out was really, really cool was Kojima. Hideo Kojima came out. And, you know, there on the screen, Kojima Productions, new logo. And, ah, oh man, so good. He's like, I'm back! There was no fuck Konami, which it would be kind of cool. It was like, if, you know, he came out, fireworks and everything, and on the screen it had big fuck Konami, I'm back. That would have been amazing, but, you know, lawsuits. But, anyways, fuck Konami. That's, that's, but Kojima's back. He's showing off his new, this new trailer for his game. He is calling, ah, shoot, what was he calling that? I'm actually looking at, looking at all this stuff right now. <laughs> it's called uh, Death Stranding, starring Norman Reedus, which is a really weird trailer. Um, immediately you see a naked man on the beach and this baby with an umbilical cord. And I automatically thought, I was like, is this P.T.? Did Sony buy PT? Did they buy Silent Hills? But no, it wasn't PT. We didn't get any gameplay. We don't know what this game is, but we've seen Norman Reedus and uh, Oil Baby that turns into oil and oil handprints and on a beach with a bunch of dead animals and Norman Reedus being naked and stuff and crying. And, you know, I'm sure every single, uh, you know, all the ladies for some odd reason, like to see Norman Reedus cry. Um, my fiance, she's all about that too. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's good to see Kojima back. It's good to see that he's working with Norman Reedus. I'm hoping it'd be kind of cool if there's like, oh yeah, we're working with Guillermo de Toro and we're going to go ahead and make PT. It's going to happen, but it's not going to be called PT. Um, it'll be this Death Stranding thing. God, damn. Um, some of the things that he kind of wish they would have shown off as possibly Resident Evil 2, uh, the remake for that. Um, we didn't get to see Final Fantasy 7, which would have been nice. Um, I, I would have loved to see more of Resident Evil 7, but, you know, they had a little bit, they didn't have too much time, but it was so many games, so many damn games on that stage. Um, I have to give Sony definitely an A-plus on this one, and I'm surprised... Uh, big time, you know. I, uh, you know, I'm a big my, I'm a big Xbox guy, and you know, I like PlayStation too. I play on all the all the consoles, but damn, it was so good, so such a good um, conference. I mean, they had any every game you could imagine up there on stage. Um, it was just nonstop, game after game after game. Uh, they didn't waste their time. They didn't talk about PlayStation 4K. They didn't even announce, they didn't say the word Vita once, I don't think. I don't even think they said Vita. Um, <laughs> they didn't talk about hardware, um, crossplay, backwards compatibility. Kind of wish they would have talked about that, maybe. And that would have been cool if they would have been like, oh, by the way, we're going to do backwards compatibility. And yes, Microsoft, we will play a few now. Uh, that would have been amazing. That didn't happen. Uh, maybe Gamescom, maybe something like that will happen, or maybe it's just a 
uh, dream of mine for something like that to happen. But overall, yes, definitely enjoyed that. Um, you know, <laughs> Days Gone was probably my favorite part of the whole thing. Well, the, my favorite game. Uh, Gears of War, you know, not Gears of War, God of War. See, I get just too confused sometimes. I don't know why. I mean, it's just a G-O-W, but I know they're two different games because obviously you've played them all. Um, but Days Gone looked really great. Um, and you're definitely excited about Crash coming back. And, you know, he's coming on Skylanders, too. So if you're into Skylanders, there's something else for you. Um, but it's going to be nice to go back and play um, those old games completely re remastered. Just because, you know, I used to play those games all the time. Um, it's just something I really enjoyed. But, yeah, PlayStation completely, they want E3. Um, you know, Xbox, they did great. Um, they had some big things. But overall... The PlayStation conference was for gamers. That's wanting games, and I think that's what E3 should really be about. Um, yeah, it's cool to have hardware announcements, but it's all about games, you know. So they said there's much more coming. So hopefully, Gamescom we'll get more something like that. It'd be great. But again, guys, thank you so much for checking us out. We'll be moving to Ubisoft hopefully by tomorrow evening. So tonight, by tomorrow when you guys wake up, you'll be able to see the Xbox and the PlayStation uh, recap of what I thought on that. Uh, as always, if there's something you know that I'm doing wrong or something that you want me to improve on, um, i definitely up for criticism. Uh, just don't be a dick. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, be sure to hit like and subscribe. I definitely love doing this. I'd love to see the channel grow. Have a bunch of new content. Uh, check that out. Um, I have a uh, video where I talked about the pretty mis uh, the unfortunate things that happened this weekend, um, as well as a bunch of gameplay. I will have a new uh, Let's Play this coming week. We'll be doing more Adrift, Halo Wars 2, and a whole lot more stuff. Probably a stream with the Goblin Traders. They want to test out Ark Survival, maybe H1Z1, and of course, of course, we'll be playing Overwatch. Again, my name is Panzer6, or you can call me Derek. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow with the rest of the E3 coverage that I want to talk about.